Layer the bottom up. Oh yeah. Good morning. We gotta do a video on them. Look at that head. Beautiful cherry head red foot tortoise right there. Gorgeous animal. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. We're here and it's a beautiful day here in South Florida. Absolutely beautiful day. And today what we have planned for you guys is we're gonna do some awesome DIY projects uh, on the ranch. There's a lot of things that people have been asking me to do. And there's actually a project that I used to do way, way back in the day. Instead of using those plastic concrete mixing tubs that you buy at Home Depot or the hardware stores, I do another type of style of ways of racing up beautiful different types of tortoises and turtles that I have on my ranch. And um, that's what we're gonna do today. So I have all of the stuff in the back of my truck and we're gonna go around and I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing, easy DIY project that you can put right inside of your patio. So uh, let's head out and let's go do it. So you guys see Billy and Tom are getting absolutely massive. My two Tom Royal Palm turkeys. And then Catalina isn't in the back of the barn over there and she still has not had her baby yet, but her udder has become even much larger. So she's coming very, very close very soon. Just keep those post notifications on because I'm waiting just as much as you guys are waiting. And then we're not gonna talk as much over here with all this construction that's going on. You guys probably are like, what the heck happened here? But um, you're gonna see all of that in the upcoming videos. I put those post notifications on so you guys can see that stuff. But let's head to the truck. So the three main things that you need for a tortoise DIY set up for your basic little baby tortoise for almost every species of tortoise that you get. So right here in South Florida, you can get this beautiful, cheap topsoil dirt right here I keep that as the bottom part of the enclosure and then on top of that we put cypress mulch and then a couple plants that I like to use you can't go wrong with them at all any type of hibiscus plant any flower any type of hibiscus is good for your tortoises pretty much the reason why I like it is because it's just daily food all the time for them pick the leaves off throw it down into the enclosure and they eat it and then we can add some spineless cactus in there as well but I'm gonna go through all the process right now a big giant water trough in the back of the barn and that right there is going to be our whole enclosure and then we're going to put all the substrate and everything in there so let's load everything up into my four wheel little cart right here i swear this thing is something that i use every single day it's the best made tool ever i use this all day long but um let's load it up and let's get to the back of the building and let's put everything together Yeah, we're gonna do this inside the patio, but eventually I'm gonna show you where the tub is at with all my miscellaneous things that are on the back of the building. Let's go do that. Right here we have these little, uh, pretty much livestock uh, troughs right here. And these troughs are rubber troughs. And on the bottom, as you guys see, already had pre-drilled holes. The holes are so that if it rains, all the water gets drained through the bottom because you're outside, you're making your own little pretty much greenhouse right here. So I'm gonna fill the whole bottom up to about six to seven inches of topsoil first so they have a nice substrate at the bottom. The reason why I like doing different layers is like if you're making a garden, so they get used to living outside on the dirt and everything because what I've realized and things that I don't like is that when these animals are living inside of like tanks in the houses and things of that sort, they're not getting used to all the natural um, bacteria and different things that are out in the wild or out inside their backyards and stuff. So once you do this, you're getting them used to and getting their immune system real strong. So we're gonna grab one back of topsoil first and we're gonna dump that in there. Let's do this right now, see how much I'm gonna use. Layer the bottom up. This one right here is I think a 50 gallon water trough. So I think one bag of topsoil is gonna be plenty. And the species of tortoise that we're gonna use today for the example of this enclosure is going to be cherry head uh, tortoises, cherry head red foot tortoises are more of a subspecies of red foot tortoise, a little smaller species, and they're very, very bright headed animals. And actually, these guys are for sale. You can see them on the website, blakeexoticanimalranch.com. But um, let's move this all around. Break up all the little dirts and everything in there. Nice clean topsoil. And that's pretty much perfect right there. You guess that guy said, that's about, eh, three and a half, four inches of topsoil. 
that's perfect right there. So even it all out just like that. And you want the topsoil as well because we are adding plants. So we're gonna add the plants next because I wanna have the plants in the dirt. And then above the plants, we're gonna add the cypress mulch. So first off right here, we have this beautiful red hibiscus that is right here. So we're gonna just dig out a little spot probably. So you, what you wanna do is, you wanna have plants more in the back and you wanna have a feeding station. You wanna have a little area that you can put your little bit of food and a little bit of water so you can see it. But the water's just there for extra. I don't keep water in any of my tortoise enclosures that are getting raised up. The reason why I don't do that is because I like to make sure they're getting soaked every other day. That's why there's tubs right there underneath ready to go. And these are just temporary enclosures. They've been here for a little while now, but they need to get moved to the back. And that's where they're gonna be going in different little gardens like this all over the back of the building. But we are pretty much setting it up right now. So there you go. We have a nice little hibiscus right here. And let me get that old flower out. So that's right there. Looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna dig it all the way to the bottom. And it's not a lot, obviously. It's just to rest there. And all right, now you wanna bring it up a little bit more front. You wanna be able to make sure your tortoises are able to move through the back. Anything that you put in any type of reptile tortoise enclosure, they're always gonna walk the whole perimeter of the fences all the time, the perimeter of the enclosure. So you always want everything to be spaced away big enough so the animal can walk around because they're just gonna do circles. That's what they're gonna do. They're always gonna walk and figure out their whole enclosure completely. So move that up right there. And like I said, there's cypress mulch gonna get added too. But we are gonna add a little bit more dirt because as you can see, it's not completely covered and they're gonna dry out and die. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another hibiscus. We have two hibiscus things in here. And the species, like I said, is gonna be redfoot tortoises. So they're from South America and they're more tropical animals. So it's okay for them to have more shade because they're from the jungles and things of that sort. So we're gonna add more plants in here for them. So we're gonna add another thing of hibiscus right here. And this is in like an orange hibiscus, a nice beautiful flower as well. We're gonna put down right there next to the other one. So it's like a little jungle. So this enclosure right here, it's a small water trough. It's only about 50 gallons. So this is good just for one or two hatchling or two to three inch tortoises like I have for sale on the website. This is perfect for them for probably another six to eight months without a doubt. But you can go to different like food spots, uh, animal supply places, and they sell the even bigger ones, big water troughs, the big metal ones, or even the black ones too. And those go to like 100 to 200 gallons as well. And they're a lot longer. They're more of an oval type, like an egg. And those right there are prime because you can add more plants and more things and things of that sort. This is just a small one, something I had here at the house. And this is something I used to raise my baby radiated tortoises in, actually. But if you would like to do this kind of style thing and it's going to be a bigger tortoise, I would definitely recommend to go bigger. Never, I get this a lot in my DMs and my questions all the time. What size should I get? If the animal or somewhere, the pest or whatever says you want something this size, I would always go two times bigger. It will never hurt the animal. The animal is always gonna be happier with something bigger and better always for them. The bigger, the more space for them to walk, the better for them. But uh, enough talking here. We're gonna add some more topsoil and in the back section where these hibiscus are, I'm gonna add probably another half a bag of topsoil and I'm gonna make it much higher. So it's more of like a little mountain kind of uh, deal. And in the front, we're gonna add a bunch of cypress and then we're gonna add that orchid moss. So let's do that. A little more topsoil. I have a little hut right here, just as a little temporary house. I'm gonna just put the dirt right here and then I'm gonna push it to the back because I don't wanna squish the plants right now. Right there, it's good. And then we're gonna push it all to the back. All into around this plants. And you always wanna make sure that if the tortoises stack up on each other, they can't climb out as well either. So that's one good thing too. If you wanna make sure. So those plants are just about completely covered up. Perfect, and I push most of the dirt to the back so it's a little higher back there. I'm gonna put this there. But before we do that, let's grab this orchid moss. I like this orchid moss a lot. Um, it's good to soak it up. And it's good to soak up this orchid moss and uh, it's nice to keep your um, animals nice and humid and uh, perfect. And actually right there with all my other ones. Ah, ah. I always keep a spray bottle because I spray all these tortoises every day to make a little natural, little rainforest kind of deal for them. Open this up. I'm gonna put it inside the little house area. So it's gonna go right there. Add that right there. Spray that down. Get it to get pushed in spot better. Not so floaty. There we go. I really like to hide in that. Put the hut right there on top and they'll be able to hide inside of there without a doubt. 
And then you, you don't have to put the cypress mulch, but the reason why you put the cypress mulch is just so it's a little bit more substrate. If you don't put the cypress mulch, those animals, the beauty of them are they'll be completely black. They're just gonna be black all day long. So we get that cypress mulch out. And this is this type right here, right there. This type I use, it has no chemicals, nothing on it at all. All reptile keepers, everybody uses it. It's the only one that all reptile keepers use. And yep, get that and start grabbing handfuls of this, spreading it all around. I'm gonna keep one section right in the front for dirt so they have a little bit of dirt, but the majority of it is going to be mulch. And as you can see, they get the sun, they'll get the sun early mornings, they'll get it in the afternoons. Whenever the sun comes around, they'll get it. So what we're gonna do actually, we're gonna use the rest of the orchid moss. Where's that bad boy at right here? We're gonna actually just put it in the front. There you go. Clean it up for you guys. You guys, we got a nice little cut right there. We got the mulch. And look at that, I mean this right here is a prime example of a very easy DIY setup without a doubt. Uh, it took me maybe 15 to 20 minutes to get it all put together. And as you can see, we left the sides nice and high so that if you put two tortoises in here, tortoises can't stack up and climb out. And another really cool thing too as well is once these plants start growing, you don't want to do it right now as soon as you add the plants because you might put them in shot or the plant might not grow back good. Once they start growing, pull hibiscus out put it on the floor, throw it all in there so when they're walking around eating, like I've told you guys before, they can move around and find their food all over their enclosure. You can add a little food tray if you would like to, but um, yeah, we're gonna go out and I'm gonna go grab these tortoises real quick that they're in another enclosure and set them up in here to show you what they look like and show them my little, little DIY brand new setup that you guys could do at home once you purchase any of my tortoises or you go somewhere else and get somebody else's tortoises. But let's grab these guys and put them in there. So right here is a beautiful specimen of a little cherry head red foot tortoise right here. This one's probably about one to two inches long and this is a perfect size to start off right here. And then here's another one that's a tad bit bigger, probably a couple centimeters bigger. And again, these are all for sale as well. Beautiful little guys, Florida grown animals. And look at that, right inside their enclosure. But then we go up probably another inch or so and this is just at three inches. Yes, I know, I hear you guys. Look, we hit that head a little bit of the water. And look at the brightness of those skin. Look at that head. Beautiful cherry head red foot tortoise right there. Gorgeous animal. And this one is perfect. So this right here is probably around three inches or so. You could probably get them to go about that big living in here without a doubt. Um, but after about two or three more months, you're gonna have to, not have to, but you're definitely gonna wanna go a lot bigger in size. And if you have patios, like if you live in a, uh, what's that called, an apartment, and you only have a balcony, this is your best deal because you're not gonna make a garden inside your patio. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get one of these troughs. You're gonna put it in the back, get your top so you got your cypress mulch, make sure your neighbors don't see you, and you got quiet, beautiful little tortoises that can stay right there. And this tortoise right here, full size, is only gonna get around 10 to 14 inches of out of doubt. Here you go, buddy. Go in there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Good morning. We gotta do a video on them. I know everybody's been waiting. Everybody's been waiting. I think they want the attention from us. We're coming, we're coming. We'll be there soon, don't worry. But, that right there, this whole enclosure, so these pots right here, these hibiscus bushes were about $5 a piece, right? $5 each, so $10. Cypress mulch is around $4 each. A bag, huge bag, and look, we barely used it all. So you're gonna have that for a plenty amount of times to take out the mulch and redo it every couple months without a doubt. I would definitely say to redo and take the mulch out, not the top still, just the mulch, probably every two months. And then the orchid moss, the same exact thing. These little wood little huts right here, you buy those at your pet store uh, for probably around $14. They're a little bit more expensive for sure, but that is not too bad. And you don't have to worry about lights or anything of that sort because you have the natural sun of outdoors. If you live in Florida or a place that is more tropical. If you live a place that is more, uh, they're loud, I know. If you live in a place that is more uh, coldish, you're definitely gonna have to get a light. But 
This is a species I would say that it could go anywhere in the United States because it's small enough you could put inside your house when it gets too cold. Not like a sulcato or an adabra, something that gets too big. These are a small species of tortoise that looks a lot better. And like I said earlier, look at that cherry head. Walking through the back, not hitting any of the bushes, not getting any way, not won't knock anything down, and it's just living its best life. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Got some great ideas. Yeah. We got some great ideas. Give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed something. You learned something from today's video. And I will see you guys in the upcoming video. But subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 700,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.